so i am running that so now it is running and uh, checking accessibility issues in the whole page so see it got passed and i received 6651 issues back to the software testing tips and tricks channel so in this video we will talk about the accessibility testing using the playwright so those who don't know what is accessibility testing i have wrote one article in my blog for uh, uh, ADA testing or accessibility testing so ADA testing is like ADA is American Disabilities Act so this act uh, mentioned that like uh, it should not uh, discrimination and guarantee that all the people with disabilities have the same opportunity as everybody else have right so whatever application or web application you are developing other people who are, who are uh, disabled should get equally uh, accessible that normal people have so for that like we can do this testing manually as well as using automation tools so playwright also have this capability to find many these such issues using automation so if you have this checks uh, already added in playwright it will good to have and uh, your website automatically have good amount of uh, accessibility issues find it finds good amount of accessibility issues so what you can do is like uh, uh, it is quite simple and easy so please watch this video till the end so that you will uh, know like how you can do this using the playwright i will show you using the code as well and we will run it and we'll discuss the output so like uh, here like few example mentioned in the documentation that like text that would be hard to read for users with visible implements due to poor color contrast so sometimes we see like uh, in website their color contrasts are so poor that even <laughs> visible uh, normal people uh, have uh, troubles to read it right so what about physical disabled or vision implementers uh, also like talk back functionality so some of the buttons don't have proper label for example submit button don't have label submit so what happens is uh, talk back uh, uh, softwares can't uh, read that button like what this button about so those who don't know talk back uh, Software like it goes to each uh, when you press the tip, it will go to each of the buttons and uh, pronounce it like this is a submit button on this panel. So those who are not visible, who can't uh, can't uh, see that buttons, they can hear that and know that like this is a submit button. So if don't you don't have proper labels, so those those software doesn't know that right. So we should use that. So UI controls also like if uh, your control is not uh, proper like right? when you press tab it is not going there uh, it uh, doesn't help uh, those people also like interactive elements with duplicate id so whenever you have duplicate id is not blind or uh, physical disabled but our uh, automation suits get uh, automation technology get uh, uh, confused with that right so it it is good that you don't have duplicate IDs on the software so in playwright we have this x for playwright package so this uh, when you implement this it will uh, help you to find the accessibility issues in your website so for that what you can do is uh, you just need to install npm install x for playwright so once you do that it will get installed in the your uh, package so i have in already installed that and now what you need to do let's uh, go through the example so this is the example we can copy that so i already wrote to go go to the software testing tips and tricks channel now what you can do is like uh, you just need to create accessibility scan result object for accessibility builder and you want to analyze all the page so you can analyze that and you can see like you can put accept so that uh, if you find any issues it will not go ahead so uh, this in expect i am like putting ideally there should be zero violation so violation to equal we can put zero or we can keep empty there should not be any violations and what i have done here i have created this scan object and uh, i am analyzing this page so it will open software testing tips and tricks page and will analyze and it if it is finding any issues it will report it and uh, if it doesn't then it get passed but yeah i know my blog has so many issues there so i am running there so now it is running and uh, checking accessibility issues in the whole page 
so see it got fetched and i received 6651 issues so most of the issues are common and duplicate for me but yeah still we have issues so here like you see the message in each issue like elements must meet the minimum color contract ratio threshold so most of the color contracts on my blog are not proper so i have already used some one other template and this template doesn't have proper accessibility fixes so this color combination is violating accessibility and uh, there may must be other uh, errors as well right so for example you can see some page content is not contained by landmarks so there are no proper landmarks or a, a, there is issue in header or something right so those issue already found and mentioned here now uh, this is how you can find the accessibility issues using the playwright and this is a live working of this now what you can do like what if i just want to analyze part of the page not whole page right so sometimes you know like this is a new development and uh, i want to access only this part of the page so you can do this using the playwright so what uh, we can do here is like if you go ahead say here so you can wait for that locator and you can include that locator here and you you can analyze only that locator so here uh, in my code what i can do is i am replacing this so now i am uh, just for example i want to see my like if my header is uh, proper or not so i can go here and just i am doing header blog so i am just uh, waiting for header blog and only analyzing header blog now not analyzing whole page see like if my header and has any accessibility issues or not so now i can run that again so now it is running so now it will find uh, only for this element and see it got passed and I it doesn't observe any issues in my header so in white or black looks good and uh, there is no issues on reading at all so that looks good so this is how you can uh, do part of that so if, when you integrate in CICD or something right so that time this is very helpful and it will automatically it checks for these labels color contracts or something is missing so it is very handy also you can scan like vcag violation so vcag is web content accessibility guideline so it is meant for websites and if uh, your uh, page is um, uh, have some uh, wsag test right so for example it has codes so for example wcag 2a double a so a and double a considers as critical so if you want to check only this critical issues right so you can pass this text here with text and you can analyze those so it will report only these issues like a double a a double a so those issues only it will report also if you know like non issue is there sometimes you can exclude that like you instead of include you can put in exclude and uh, that element where you are seeing that issue you can exclude it and analyze it same way like you can disable some rule that uh, rule you are saying like this rule is not, not uh, i don't want to check that rule you can disable that and analyze it so most of the things uh, like that only also you can scan result and attach as json so this is the example you have and uh, creating fixtures so what you can do is like uh, if you remember this uh, login page right into i have created all the uh, playwright uh, uh, playlist and you can find all the uh, videos here to understand it in detail so in last we did that authentication one right this so basic authentication one so in authentication one uh, we created authentication file separately so it will just authenticate it and after that it will run the test so same way you can do that you can create one uh, file xtest.ts and uh, uh, you can create it uh, and in test whenever you are creating test in before that uh, here while uh, exporting you can export this as well required.x test so all the test will go through accessibility test first and after that it will 
run it and you can include your web element you want to access right so it will uh, add that so this is how you can use that common method and you can use that so if you have any doubt feel free to ask thanks for watching full the video and also subscribe this channel and share it to your friends hope this will help thank you